Welcome back everybody from Two Guns, Arizona. <laughs> Just going to say a quick hello on this camera because I have to switch over to uh, the Vixia camcorder uh, because it zooms and this doesn't. This is a uh, past history of uh, Indians and bad guys <laughs> like Billy the Kid. And they, one the winter they hid out over in that house over in there and it's kind of trapped in this little horseshoe of a canyon so it was harder to get at you could only access it from the west actually that canyon i don't know how you got across there tricky business anyway i'll get the camcorder so we can do some zoom work uh, two guns ghost town how's that for how's that for a name that's just cool to begin right off the bat that's cool just a couple quick facts here I actually called this up on, um, I brought it up on Wikipedia. Uh, I'll just mention, and I do the same, it's really a lot of interesting stuff. Just three quick things was native artifacts were found that two guns had been dated between 1050 and 1600. Okay, and two guns was the site of a mass murder of Apaches by their Navajo enemies in 1878. So this was, uh, yeah, a sign of mass murder. Somewhere there's a, a, um, a burial cave. I have no idea where that's at. And, uh, and in the winter of 1879 to 1880, Billy the Kid and his outlaw gang hid in the ruins of the stone house and corral on the west rim of Canyon Diablo, across from Two Guns. I believe that's right over there. I'll turn this camcorder around and... Um, I'll get it off its tripod. We'll take a walk around now. How's that for two guns ghost town? Sweet. All right. I'm going to find something to do with this tablet. I'll lay it down and forget it. <laughs> there we go. That was yours, the house. Some other outbuildings. Maybe it was a, like a barn or stable. Now, I'm not sure how to get over there <laughs> because here it is. Here's the uh, Canyon Diablo. Let's walk over here. Okay. You know, that takes some, that takes some doing to get across. Let's go up around that side, and we'll have a better vantage point of the uh, of the Billy the Kid hideout over there. Watch for nails. further. Imagine Billy the Kid and Company over there hiding out in the winter of 1880. There's an interesting little building.
that canyon wraps around here to my left. It's right in front of us, but then it goes, makes a big horseshoe, and that's it on the back side of that house. Almost looks like cut stone, doesn't it? And there's another building over here. Hang on. <laughs> okay, where is it? Where is it? I can see it here first. It's the top of the sun right there. Where is it? There it is. See what an amateur videographer I am, okay? Better not forget my tablet, huh? There's, you know, with the history of this place, it's just, it's just kind of being, it's kind of weird being in the same place that, you know, back from the Apaches or the Navajo or who slaughtered who again, but whether they built all these structures, you know. Here I am, you know, touching, <laughs> leaning against it to the Billy the Kid days. Kind of bad guys and good guys. And around here snooping. To the more recent, uh, let's see what's it say out here. I don't know, just take, I mean, the de here, the definition of rustic, right? Whoops, where is it? You know, that isn't. Rustic, yeah. right? And as I was saying, where's it at? Yep, mountain lions. <laughs> so, the most recent attraction of the mountain lion exhibit. So, the Wikipedia article went on. You know, the last section is uh, the decline of. Uh, two Guns, Arizona. Uh, I didn't bother to read into that, so I don't know. I don't know how long, you know, things went on here, and when it all come to an end. So, out on the other side of that is where the RV is parked at, and on the front side of that it says Mountain Lines. So, and another little shack says, you know, Route 66. So, I think some years back. This was partially used somehow, some way. Maybe that's what these pens are for. It says mountain lines. So, I don't know. Maybe they uh, kept mountain lines in these, you know, various. I don't know. This wood's been down a long time. Now these would have been really great displays because there's a natural rock in there, which would like made a good habitat. And then, you know, fence that they couldn't. I guess there's doors and windows up there. Like that top side they could have uh you know peeked in on the animals and or opened that door to feed them or whatever. And they would have been down in here in this in this lower part. Of course, this side all fenced in. Kind of like this one is. The roof's still on it. You know, probably a little gate. Gate here. Another one. This has probably been pretty dang fancy. Maybe that one up at the beginning that was smaller. Maybe had smaller cats in it. And that one would have been maybe a big one. Another big one. Maybe these two for smaller. Uh, cats. And we have this one over here. 
kind of goes small, medium, and large. Huh. Okay, so that's all we have here today. Then, uh, no, I didn't forget Bella. Sorry, she's only gonna have to get a few seconds in on this video. Oops. Hi, Bella. At least she didn't walk me out this time. <laughs> Hi, Bella. It's okay, we was on big walks and stuff this morning. Uh, and now we're off to somewhere. I'm ready to go for a ride. Uh, sometimes she gets some little things in her eyes. Uh, who does your makeup? Come here. She says, I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I know we're going somewhere big today. She wants to get on the highway because she knows she gets the nap. She says, I'll go over later on and take my nap. Uh, that's what I'll do. All right. All right, that's all we got for today. Till next time. I'll see you.